could give all applicants full tuition and you need to understand that this is based on the academic performance all students are automatically considered for this scholarship if you apply to this school right now everybody that wants to apply to this school does not need to provide any application fee you don't need the standardized test score okay and uh, you might require to submit recommendation okay so this particular school that we are looking at today is in the united states where you can study for free without paying any admission application fee you also need to know that the scholarship that is available is of three types okay so i will be breaking everything down for you right now because they have the merit-based scholarship they have the academic scholarship and they have the school name based scholarship okay so all of this are information i will be sharing with you in today's video and i hope you stick around to get more information and how you can actually start your application right now okay so one of other thing i want you to pay attention to is that this school have a lot of program that you can apply to right now okay and each of these program actually have some kind of uh uh, moderation or how will I put it they have some kind of treatment for each of this program so there are some programs that they don't joke with at this particular school that we are looking at today okay so first thing I want to show you before we talk about the scholarship before we talk about the application process is I want us to look at some of the program that this school have right now right here on the program application page it says here find your program or mode of study so you can narrow down uh you can do like a search narrow down okay so you can search if it's an on-campus program or a, a, an online program so if i click on that it says on on-campus program because that is what i'm looking for then uh the degree type if it's bachelor of art bachelor of art in education bachelor of fine arts uh mba mh uh, mhs ms MSPM minor non degree okay so I will just leave all of this all degree level or uh, you can select all degree level or major undergraduate or uh, graduate as well you can see it here so you want to know what you're actually looking at okay so but I will just leave it to all degree level then uh, all degree type I will leave it as all degree type so here you can see now that they have accounting uh, administration of justice they have uh, athletics coaching which is a uh, undergraduate minor some of them are minor program some of them are major program biochemistry uh, is a major and minor program then also biology uh, bed to kindergarten so you go to the next page so on the next page I think they have 10 courses on each of these pages so business administration then they have the business administration for major and also uh, minor and here you can see that this is BBA and this one is uh, uh, BS then also business administration chemistry uh, communication you go to the next page so you just make sure that you find the program that you are looking uh, for at this particular school because they have a lot of uh, programs that you can apply to so I cannot just keep going to the next page uh, keep going to the next page like they are using infinite scroll okay so this will give you insights uh, about how you can search for your program the other thing you can actually do is to come to this section you come to this section then you just click on this button when you click on this button it will give you the opportunity to like do a search of program that you are actually looking at okay so let's say i'm looking for a program called uh, chemistry i'll just put it here i'll just search for it okay so once you search for your program you you then need to do one thing so let's say i'm searching for this program which is accounting i'm going to click on this blue button here so when you click on that you scroll down then you now see more information about that particular program you are going to click on this learn more button so when i click on that then you can now see more information about that particular program uh, that you want to apply to okay so let's see that okay so accounting then we have information school of business on campus program 
so everything about this program you can find it here just scroll down read more about it so i haven't seen that then the next one i want to, to look at is on how to apply okay so I'm, I'm i'm trying to connect all the information so that uh you get it so you scroll down here they have online and graduate studies then they also have a uh, freshman and transfer students okay so here you are going to see these two button here this one is for freshmen and transfer applicants okay online and graduate applicants okay application rather okay so any of the one or anyone that's uh, related to what you are looking at you click on it but before i click on it i want us to look at uh, some information about the scholarship to this particular school so here like i said they have the merit-based scholarship they also have the academic scholarship then they have the need-based scholarship so you need to get information about this uh, each of these scholarship before you start your application under the merit base it says scholarship range from eight thousand to full tuition okay and are based on a student academic performance all students are automatically considered which means you don't need to file separate application for the scholarship and they are granted admission to Kataba College okay so the name of the college we are looking at today is Kataba College. Okay, so I don't know how uh, it is being pronounced, but I think that should uh, give us what we are looking at. So this is the school. So is the school uh, we are looking at today, Kataba, uh, Kata, Kataba College. Okay. So now let's go back to the other scholarship that is available so we've seen the merit base that is an automatic uh is an automatic one to be considered you need to also know that this school is actually uh in the north carolina okay so in case uh you are trying to uh look at or restrict where you are applying to maybe due to families that we have in the United States. Okay, under the academic scholarship, merit based department scholarship range from 500 to 5,000 and are based on a student's interest in a particular majors at this college. So, this particular one, it has like requirement for you to actually uh, meet this. Okay. And the need base, don't assume you won't qualify for need based financial aid. Need based scholarship may be awarded to incoming students based on their financial need, complete and submit free application for the FAFSA. Okay, so uh, the FAFSA code is there. The National Kataba College are awarded to students based on student participation in athletics, uh, athletic team, program, and club. So most time they will ask you, do you want to participate in athletics? Uh, have you been participating? So most people will select no. Most people. So you see now that it is of good if you participate in club and uh, I mean school club, not uh, normal. So if you participate in school club, athletics, uh, uh, sport, and all of those things. Okay. So. Uh, just need to know that uh, you can get funding from this particular school okay so and one of the best thing or one of the other thing i want us to consider about this particular school is the fact that you don't have to pay any admission application fee so if it comes fine if it doesn't come fine okay so we keep pushing now let's go back to uh this particular page to go and check some of the uh deadline and other information so the one for uh the one so for spring 2024 said first year rolling admission is this period and the one for fall 2024 early early decision is uh 15 okay so 15 you have the 15 of next month to take action up to now to that time you can take action then regular decision okay so early action is this period but you don't have to wait for this period this is not actually the deadline but when the decision will start coming out 
and also the rolling admission for uh 2024 they have two of them here so you want to make sure you submit this application as as fast as you can okay so that is what i have for you today now let's go back to how to apply so that we look at uh some things okay so uh, under the programs they have graduate program as well okay so it's because uh i thought i showed that earlier so under where you can find your program you go here okay let's go to fita so you go here you go and select graduate program so once you select your graduate program you see all the list of graduate program that are available for you to apply to right now okay so i know some people are looking at graduate program so if you want to do your graduate uh, program application you just click on this takes you to the application page but i think uh, the application page is actually linked together for both freshmen and the uh, graduates okay 15680 one five okay 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 so it's different it's different because i found a school that that match that match the application together okay so on that here now you now click on apply Don't forget that you can also uh, do your application on your common app. So if you already have your common app, I can always show you. Go to your college search, search for Kotaba College. Click on add to my college. Go to your college, go and add all your information and submit your application. Okay. Kotaba College Application Management. Thank you for expressing interest. Uh, undergraduate program are intended for first year degree seeker and transfer students. Okay, graduates are tailored to those seeking a master degree and require a bachelor degree as a uh, prerequisite. So make sure you read all this information before you go ahead to start your application. So all of these are things that uh, you should be familiar with right now. So that is why I don't tell you uh, uh, you need to go and get your high school if you are applying for your undergrad. You need this, okay? You need this, okay? Now. If you now come here to this section, you are going to see this small button that says create an account. I will click on that. Click on that, provide your information, get your temporary pin, uh, put it there, uh, put in your date of birth again, log into your account, click on start new application. After you click on start new application, put in your information, then it will ask you uh, information about the program you intend to take at this particular college okay so if this is helpful for you at this point in time please don't hesitate to click on that subscribe button if you are new to this channel and if you are just coming across my channel for the first time don't hesitate to click on that like button okay so uh till then i'm going to catch up with you in another one if you have any question drop it at the comment box any contribution drop it at the comment box uh you want me to make a video about any school application process uh drop it at the comment box you want my support in apply for any program any school reach out to me i will do this for you for a fee okay bye bye i'll catch up again